on here because I'm a multitasker. All I do is multitask. Yeah. So, um, this vlog is about three common misconceptions that we have when we first start working out. Number one, to lose weight, you have to spend hours on a cardio machine often a misconception. Um, I get questions about this a lot. So if you want to lose weight, it, there's actually been studies that have shown that the perfect combination of cardio and resistance training will help you lose weight. So resistance training actually burns more calories than cardio because your body has to work a little harder to recover from resistance training, like weightlifting or yoga or Pilates or calisthenics, your body takes longer to recover from resistance training um, to get your body back into its natural state. So you actually end up burning calories 24 hours after um, you perform the exercise. Whereas when you're doing steady state cardio, what I'm doing right now, <laughs> hey, you only burn calories while you're on the machine. When you get off the machine, you're done burning calories. So if you're looking to lose weight, I recommend resistance training of some sort and also a little bit of cardio. Both is the best combination. The second misconception that we have when we first start going to the gym is that we have to get into the gym every single day for an hour. So if you're the type of person who hasn't been working out very often until right about now, then I actually don't recommend working out for an hour at the gym every day because it's going to be a hard goal for you to achieve and you'll most likely fail at that goal. I recommend creating attainable goals. And you guys all know that I'm a huge proponent of 20 minute workouts. So you can actually get a lot done in just 20 minutes. It's all about how you use your time. You don't need to spend an hour working out to get a good workout in. Um, you can do circuit training, high intensity interval training, lots of awesome stuff. If you guys are interested in learning about how to get a really good 20 minute workout in, it's rock message me and I'll hook you up. And number three, number three, the third most common misconception, in my opinion, is protein intake. So the average person who um, doesn't work out, it's just existing in life, only actually needs 10% of their daily caloric intake to be from protein. So if you went from not working out at all to now working out a little bit, you really don't need so much protein. You really only need like 10, 15%. And all of that can come from plants, guys. I know a lot of fitness coaches recommend 30% of your caloric intake to be from protein. But to be completely honest with you, you can actually have too much protein in your diet and it can be dangerous and can cause dehydration. So guys, if you haven't spoken to a nutritionist or if you haven't been consulted on protein then you know it's really not necessary to try to overeat on your protein to um, you know you really you don't need any animal products at all actually I'm a vegan 
I get plenty of protein every day. So, um, so yeah, guys, you only need 10% if you're inactive. So if you're just starting to be active, aim for 10 to 15% of your daily caloric intake to be protein. Carbs actually are really, really great for you after you work out as well. Um, they help with protein synthesis. So, um, they help, you know, with those muscle gains, recovering those muscles, um, and having that protein work. So you really do need carbs and protein as a combo way to refuel. Enjoyed this. I'm gonna go take a shower.